Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, I want to come on here and do an update on that family that had that Toontown tussle over there in Disneyland in Cali. This entire situation is a mess. Now, you remember that dude was talking all that shit. I'm ready to go to jail today. Take me to jail. Throw away the key. Well, it looks like his ass is going to jail, okay? Right now, him and the three adults that were involved in that big ass brawl, they've all been charged, but he's being charged with the most felonies because of him, you know, just slapping and beating the shit out of them two women. And then on top of that, when he was confronted as he was leaving Disneyland, he tried to run over to like Disneyland security guards. So this dude was really, really tripping. So the city is definitely piling on the charges. He's looking at some serious felonies. And if everything sticks, he's looking at seven years in the state prison. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these news clips. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The man facing the most serious charges from that Disneyland brawl was here in a Fullerton courthouse earlier today. And based on what we heard in court today, it appears this is not his first run in with the law. Tuesday, Avery Robinson of Las Vegas was in an Orange County courtroom accused of being the man in the red shirt in this video who was involved in a shocking display of domestic violence on July 6th, right in the middle of Disneyland's Toontown. The children were crying in their strollers. There's, there's punches being thrown over and on top of strollers. The little kids are trying to get the attention of their parents. Um, you could see they're distraught. Orange County District Attorney Todd Spitzer's office has charged Robinson with five felonies and nine misdemeanors in the case. Facing lesser charges are Robinson's brother-in-law, Damon Petrie, who the DA says is the one in the white shirt, and Robinson's sister, Andrea, also wearing a white shirt, according to the DA. The motion to increase bail is detailed. In court, Judge Scott Steiner set Avery Robinson's bail at $1 million based in part on his criminal history. We have, and I'll just leave it this, a multi-state criminal history. I think that's a fair way to characterize the information that I have. And that's a concern to the court in terms of likelihood of appearance at trial. If convicted on all counts in this case, Avery Robinson faces a maximum of seven years and four months in prison. The message to everybody needs to be, um, look, you're not going to batter uh, an individual, period, and you're certainly not going to do it in front of other children. And so they're appropriately charged, and um, we're looking forward to our day in court. Avery Robinson is the only one of the three currently in custody, and he's due back in court on July 31st. Yeah, 35 year old Avery Robinson of Las Vegas is facing five felony charges and nine misdemeanors for attacking his sister, brother in law, and girlfriend. He's also accused of endangering children near the melee, including his own child. The DA's office also said that when Robinson and his family they were asked to leave the theme park. He tried to hit a Disneyland employee with his car and threatened to kill his sister. Robinson faces at least seven years in prison if he's convicted. His sister, Andrea Robinson, and her husband, Damon Petrie, both of Compton, are facing misdemeanor battery charges. They face a maximum of six months in jail if convicted. Honey. All right, in the words of Big Monique, okay, when she was big, she done lost all that weight now, honey. But in the words of Big Monique, when you do clownery, sometimes the clown comes back to bite, okay? See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. And this is what happened in this situation. This man was just doing way too much, you know, beating up these women, fighting his brother-in-law, all this in front of the kids. Like I said in my original video, if they're willing to do something like this in public, in front of strangers and cameras, imagine what goes on in that household behind closed doors. So I just think this entire situation is insane. I'm not surprised at all that the state is picking up the charges and that they're going to make an example out of him. You can't be in the damn funnest place on earth beating up bitches and shit. Like, what, what kind of mess is that, sir? 
You know what I mean? So I don't feel bad for him at all. I don't feel bad for none of these damn people, okay? Because this whole situation was just a hot damn mess that did not need to happen. It did not need to escalate whatsoever. And I wonder if looking back on it, because it's been about three weeks, do I regret any of this mess? Especially now that these consequences are coming down. I bet you when he goes to court, he gonna be scared straight. He ain't gonna be talking all that damn, you know, gangbang talk. He gonna be talking proper as hell and trying to get out that damn seven years, okay? So folks need to watch how they act in public and the things that they engage in because they're not playing anymore, especially in damn Disneyland. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Toontown tussle and the three adults being charged and the main perpetrator of the fuck shit looking at seven years in prison. Do you agree with that or do you feel like that's way too harsh? Do you feel like he needs to be in there longer? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs>